y'all it's Nona and today I'm here with a collab with my good friend Danielle and her channel name is Glam Burger and we have decided to do a look using our Juvia's Place mini palettes and we chose two palettes for the other one to use and the two she chose for me were the chocolate Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, it's just stunning. And the berries. Oh my. Oh, so excited. Um, if you want to see the palettes I chose for her, you'll have to go over to her channel and check that out. So, um, let's get started and I'll tell you a little bit about Danielle. I think I'm going to start in the... Hmm... In the chocolates palette with this shade Danielle is such a sweet person she has a heart of gold you can just tell by the way she talks she's just a sweetheart and she is a Christian woman and she's not afraid to talk about her faith on her channel and I absolutely love that um, she is a beautiful person inside and out she loves her family uh, she's very close to her family and they do all kinds of things together for holidays and birthdays and uh, she loves to camp she she goes to a camp uh, week with her church and um, that's coming up soon for her and I'm so excited for her because she thought it was gonna be canceled due to you know what but um, they decided that they could go ahead and have it. And she's so excited. And I'm so excited for her. Um, she does a lot of like clean living type stuff. She uses natural uh, cleaning agents and essential oils. And she makes a lot of her own products. And uh, I believe she even makes some of her own skincare. Uh, so I think that's awesome. I'm gonna take a clean brush and just blend over that a little bit. Um, she does beautiful looks. Her looks are usually bold, and I really like that. Um, she's not afraid of color on the eyes, and she she just really makes some pretty looks. Um, she usually wears like a neutral gloss on her lips. She's a gloss girl, and uh, I don't think she's she likes uh, bright colors or or vampy stuff. I think she just really likes to wear a neutral on her lips, and um, she has the prettiest lips. This might sound weird, but she has the most beautiful lips. They're full, and then it looks like her lips like are natural, like ombre. It looks like she has like um, lip liner already on. It's it's the it's the most beautiful thing. I just. She, has a, she just has beautiful lips. <laughs> um, I hope you don't think that's weird, Danielle, but it's the truth. Um, her son recently graduated high school, and they had a big parade for him. And um, she's just, she tells a story about how her and her husband met and got together. And it's just so sweet and romantic and uh, She seems to live the fairy tale life, and I'm I'm just so happy for her. Um, she's an essential worker, and she's been working during all this, and I want to thank her for that um, because I know it can't be easy dealing with the public and wearing a mask every day. And she's she started doing her makeup to like fit in with wearing a mask and she'll just do like her makeup from here up I think it is so cool because I mean why waste it on the bottom half of your face if you're wearing a mask all day right um, she's just a lot of fun and just a sweetheart I just love her to pieces uh, I actually met her through uh, Debbie Knobloch which is her cousin and um, I was so glad that I that I got introduced to her. 
Um, I really enjoy chatting with her back and forth. She's a wonderful supporter and friend and she always responds to my comments and I just really, really, really like her. I love her. She's a sweetheart. She's one of my best friends here on YouTube. Um, I'm so glad I got to know her. Okay, so we got that shadow down. I think I'm going to switch over to the berries palette and I'm going to go into this pink and I think I'm going to put that in the crease. I don't even know where I'm going with this look, y'all. I'm just kind of winging it. <laughs> I'm looking at these palettes and a lot of the shades are dark. And, uh, so I'm really having to think it through about what I want to do with them. That's a pretty color. Juvia's Place shadows are, are gorgeous shadows, and they used to be my favorite until I had some problems with their customer service, which I won't get into again. I've talked about it before, but um, now I believe ColourPop is my favorite. Uh, but Juvia's Place, I can't deny their shadows are wonderful. Their palettes are beautiful color stories. They're affordable. I like everything about the brand except their customer service. I feel like I had a hair. I do. There was a hair on my brush. That wasn't supposed to be there. Not a hair from the brush. A hair from one of my dogs. And it was tickling me. I feel like I'm moving really slow today. Um, I don't know. I guess it's the heat, maybe, or... I don't know. I'm just feeling bleh. So, I've been needing to film. I'm behind on filming, and I just finally told myself, get your honey in there and get it done so I like that okay next what do I want to do next outer V what am I thinking for the outer V thinking this one these don't have names it's weird. Sometimes Juvia's Place uh, palettes have names on them, and sometimes they don't. I don't know how they decide whether or not to do names on what palettes, but... Wow, that is pigmented. Super duper pigmented. It's going to run it through the crease. And I use a pencil brush for my outer V because I have hooded eyes and my eyes are also small. And I also don't have very good control. Um, I'm not very precise with my shadows, so I'm not the... I need a lot more practice. <laughs> Um, but the outer V's on my looks are usually the worst part of my looks. Let's do the other eye. I'm not very talkative today, y'all. I'm sorry. I know this video is going to be boring. Um, did everyone have a good 4th of July? We just...
stayed home and ordered pizza. <laughs> we could pretty much see the fireworks from our yard anyway, so. My nephew, uh, is going to be 13 in August and he decided he was too old for fireworks this year so we didn't do any for him like we normally do so that's kind of sad that he's growing up and out of those little traditions think that looks very good at all but It's like the shadows are uh, lifting off of this eye. I don't know why it's doing that. I keep making the V bigger and bigger. <laughs> oh man. I don't know y'all. I'm going to take that first brush and I'm going to go back in and try to blend this out a little bit. go with that so for the lid I'm going to let's see what I want to do what I want to do yeah I think I'm gonna take this brown shade for the lid I love it it's really gorgeous shade it's almost like a cherry chocolate shade it's gonna be dark for the lid I usually go lighter with a shimmer but we're going to do it. And I'm going to use my little NYX matte setting spray. I use this on every shimmer, regardless of brand. Oh, that's pretty. I just have a very little bit of fallout 
from the shade I used on the outer V. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna go off of here. I'm gonna clean up that little bit of fallout. I'm gonna run this shade on my lower lash line. Um, I'm gonna put this in my inner corner. I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild Mega Last Black Eyeliner in the waterline. And I will put on some of this Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And I'll be back to do some lips. And this is the finished eye look. Um, I don't really like it. <laughs> so, there's that. <laughs> it's not my worst, but definitely not my best. So, I do apologize, Danielle, for not doing a better look you're definitely deserving of much better so one thing that's got me off is i have been dealing with my sun allergy it has attacked my lips and uh for the past week they've been so blistered up and raw and miserable uh, so that's one reason that i'm kind of off in this video um but anyways, I'm going to go in with my Milani uh, Double Espresso. It's a brand, dark brown metallic lipstick. And I just think it would play well off of that uh, lid shade. So that's what we're going to do. It hurts my lips to apply lipstick to them. I just feel like a look isn't finished until you have on a lip. Best I can do. <laughs> and that is a finished look. I want to thank Danielle for collabing with me. Uh, for being my friend, most of all. Uh, being the sweet human being that she is. Um, she's a blessing to anyone who knows her. Um... And I hope we can do this again sometime. I love you, girl. If you like these types of videos, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Love to all. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.